Hi children, welcome to my channel. Children, in part 1, I explained the introduction of refraction of light. I hope you understood it very well. Now, let me continue the section. Children, keep a lemon in a glass of water. Can you guess how it appears? Yes, it appears to be bigger than its size. Why? Because of refraction of light. Next, when a thick glass lab is placed over some printed letters, the letters appear raised when viewed through the glass lab. Children, can you guess what could be the reason for this? Yes, refraction. Now, let us move on to activity 1. Take some water in a glass tumbler. Keep a pencil in it. Look at the pencil from one side of the glass and also from the top of the glass. Children, do you find any difference between the two views? Yes, there is a difference between the two views. See the pencil from the side of glass. We observe that they are displaced at the interface of air and water because of a phenomenon of light called refraction. See the pencil from the top of the glass. It appears thick and bent at the interface of air and water due to refraction. Next, let us move on to activity 2. Go to a long wall facing the sun. You go to the one end of a wall and ask your friend to bring a bright metal object. Now, ask him to bring the object near the other end of the wall. When an object is a few inches away from the wall, it will distort. Now, you will see a reflected image on the wall even though the wall is not a mirror. Children, do you know why is there an image of the object on the wall? There is an image of the object on the wall due to refraction of light. Now, let us discuss about activity 3. Aim for this activity is to verify the speed of light is different in different media. Operators required for doing this activity are shallow vessel, a mug, a tin or a pan, coin and water. Procedure Children, take a vessel with opaque walls, place a coin at the bottom of the vessel. Now, move away from the vessel until you cannot see the coin. Stand there. Now, ask your friend to fill the vessel with water. When the vessel is filled with water, the coin comes back into view. Children, why are you able to see the coin when the vessel is filled with water? Because the ray of light originating from the coin does not reach your eye when the vessel is empty. Hence, you couldn't see the coin. But the coin becomes visible to you after the vessel is filled with water. How is it possible children? For answering the question, observe the ray diagram from the coin to the eye. Here, the coin is in water and you are in air. Which means, coin is in denser medium and you are in rarer medium. When light travels from one medium to another, the speed of the light rays changes. So, refraction takes place. Due to refraction at water-air interface, the coin appears to be raised and seems to be close to the surface. But this is not the real position of coin. It is the virtual image of coin. Thus, we conclude that the speed of the light changes when light propagates from one medium to another medium or the speed of the light is different in different media. Next important topic is refractive index. Refractive index is a physical quantity that describes how fast light travels through the material and it is represented with a symbol small n where n is equal to speed of the light in vacuum by speed of the light in medium. So, 
in simple words the definition of refractive index is the ratio of speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in that medium the speed of the light in vacuum is represented with a symbol c and the speed of the light in medium is represented with a symbol v so n is equal to c by v children already you know the speed of light in vacuum which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second the speed of the light in medium is depends on medium for example if you consider the medium as air then the speed of the light in air is 2.99 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now let me explain how to find out the refractive index of a medium first we will find out the refractive index of air children already you know the speed of the light in vacuum which is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and speed of the light in air is 2.99 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second which is approximately equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now substitute these two values into the formula finally we will get the value as 1 so the refractive index of air is 1 now find out the refractive index of water speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and speed of light in water is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now substitute these values into the formula of refractive index you will get the value of refractive index of water which is 1.33 children here the refractive index n means that the speed of light in that medium is nth part of speed of light in vacuum let me explain this statement with an example the refractive index of water is 1.33 meaning that light travels 1.33 times as fast in vacuum as in water which means compared to water the speed of the light is 1.33 times faster in vacuum children this refractive index is a dimensionless quantity which means there is no units because it is a ratio of the same physical quantities refractive index of a medium is high the speed of light in that medium is low similarly refractive index of a medium is low means speed of light in that medium is high children this table contains refractive indices of some material media one more important point is an optically denser medium may not possesses greater mass density here mass density means physical density means mass by volume for example take kerosene and water the refractive index of kerosene is 1.44 and the refractive index of the water is 1.33 according to optical density kerosene is optically denser than water but according to mass density kerosene contains less mass density than water because of this less mass density the kerosene floats on water so by this we understood that if a substance or if a medium contains more optical density no need to contain more mass density refractive index depends on the following factors they are nature of material and wavelength of light this refractive index is also known as absolute refractive index the last topic in this video is relative refractive index children you know that absolute refractive index means the ratio of speed of light in vacuum by speed of light in medium Similarly relative refractive index is also the ratio of speed of light in first medium to the speed of light in the second medium let 
V1 and V2 be the speeds of light in the first and second medium respectively. So, the refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium is V1 by V2. Divide both numerator and denominator by C. We get N21 is equal to V1 by C by V2 by C. We know absolute refractive index N is equal to C by V. Then 1 by N is equal to V by C. So now substitute the value of V by C in the above equation. Then we get N21 is equal to 1 by N1 by 1 by N2. Finally we get N21 is equal to N2 by N1. The refractive index of a medium with respect to another medium is defined as relative refractive index. We define relative refractive index as follow. Relative refractive index N21 is equal to refractive index of second medium by refractive index of first medium. Okay children. I hope you understood the concepts what I have explained in this video. In my next video, I will come up with some more activities and keep watching my videos like this only. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.